Hey everyone, I'm Alfred and welcome back to Morrowind. Now we're in a different uh, place than last time because I spent a whole bunch of time doing side quests and recording things. I wanted to get a bunch of house rhetoric duties all out of the way all at once. Um, and I did. So we're just finishing one up now. Um, my plan was to record a bunch of stuff for me reading the 36 lessons of Vivek. And I did do that. But for a catch up on where I am, I've gotten Daedric pants now, or Daedric boots, still have ebony gear. I swapped out my indoor roll stuff. I got this ebony closed helm, which is one of the best non magical helmets in the game. Still got the indoor roll helmet, but I can put this on if I want to. Yeah, look at that thing. And then I've still got my huge, um, my huge gloves on. The ebony uh, stuff really goes well with the indoor rail gear. They're probably made of similar materials. I don't know what they put in the ebony in here that makes it black and yellow, but it looks really cool. Because in Skyrim, you can obviously craft your stuff. Oh, yeah, whoops. Alright, cool. Yeah, in Skyrim, you can obviously craft your gear. Um, so anything that goes into it has to, you know, be something that you physically have in your hands. Um, so the empty gear in Skyrim is just completely black because the only thing that you're required to put in there is just ebony. Also leather, but I don't really know why that's the case. So, um, maxed out short blade. Working on my armor proficiencies. They're all getting pretty up there. Blunt weapon and long blade I'm working on. And I now have a good axe, the Daedric War Axe. So, um... You have a lot more freedom and variety of what you can soul trap. Can and can't soul trap in this game. Um... And it's possible to soul trap some of the gods. And soul trap... And the thing is, um... How am I? Oh, I'm still not even on the side of the map. So, as you can see from the soul gems in my inventory here... It's not what, like, soul you have... It's not like the tier of soul that you have. It's literally what is it, though. Things are tagged by, you know, on a soul-by-soul -soul basis. So, yeah, neat. Um, okay, get to the other side of it back. Jesus. Um... He got me. And so it is possible to kill certain divine characters. Some of them you don't really kill. Um, some of them you do. Here we go. It's over here. There's the one guy that I aggroed like weeks ago around here somewhere, and he's a part of the main quest, so if I kill him I get the little thing that's like, hey, you killed a guy. Oh, also, um, some of you may be asking, where did I get this Daedric gear? Um, I finally went and killed Divyeth Fear. Yep, there he is. Uh, if you want to see me do that, please watch the things where I read the 36 lessons of the book. So I don't actually need to kill him, or want to for that matter, but he's good uh, for level training. Um, because he's aggroed to me, I don't get a bounty for hitting him because he swings first. Get me to Valmora, thank you. While I'm here I have a little something I'd like to show everyone. 
it's actually raining early today, and I've had this uh, warning for flash floods and severe thunderstorms all damn day on my phone. I love thunderstorms, though. I, I couldn't get out of bed. I kept falling back asleep. Like, I got up at a reasonable hour. Kept falling asleep. Or, I, I, I got up at a reasonable hour. I went back to bed for a nap at, like, 3 in the afternoon. Um, so, yeah, I... I put all my Daedric armor here, besides the ebony boots, because I've swapped my boots for ebony. Or my, those are my ebony boots. These are all my cool items. Um, I got some house redder in here. So I laid it in this bed so I could snuggle with it. For God's sake. Um, and then all my cool armors are over here. So yeah, that's me. This is something I always really like. Because, like, Caius' house is the only house that you get for a while. Unless you join, um... A proper house. Um, which is to say, Redder and Selvani Flower. And then you can build a stronghold as part of a side quest. Uh, which I think will be my first time actually doing it. I'm trying to do a lot more of the side quests than this. For my, like, challenge... All I really need to do is just, um, the main quest. But for my own enjoyment, because damn it, I like this game. I've been playing, um, the Fighters and Brethren's, uh, side quests. Right. And we're actually finishing up a side quest now. So we're looking for a place called Milk. Let me check my map. this way. Now, I think I've been to Milk, because I remember being confused that it was just called Milk. Because not only is Milk a real word, it is in fact a word that we've seen used in Morrowind. And elsewhere in the Elder Scrolls as well. But that's not really important. But considering it's the name of a cave, presumably it's just one of those like Ashlander or Dunmer words that, you know, is part of the con line. They don't have a very, like, the con line isn't like a huge part of this game. Oh, it's the little guy. The nerve. Where's my axe skill? It's at 53. I really got to track down some of the master level trainers, but I think some of them are only um, accessible through certain quest lines. There you go. Sorry, I got off topic, but um, the strongest weapon in the game is not one of the many magic swords that one can find. But if you craft something, um, if you craft something using a, a divine soul, like from one of the gods you kill, and then soul trap, oh yeah, I think that's it. Okay, good. I haven't been in here yet. Yeah, and then you just make the best enchantment you can possibly make and combine it with and put on this specific axe, a Daedric War Axe. I believe it's the strongest weapon possible, achievable, attainable in-game. Which I think is cool. It is cool to me that, like, for all the magic shit you find in this game, the best thing is still something that, like, you know, a mortal maid. Oh, they killed me. Whoops. I was just gonna wait for the thing to run out. I didn't realize how much damage he was actually doing to me. There you go. 
go. It's actually... Alright, I wanted to rest so I could have uh, a full stamina bar. That reminds me, Silent Hill is officially back as some fucking skateboard. I'm very pissed about it. Konami has made the first official piece of Silent Hill merchandise for media in years. And it is a skateboard with a bubble head there. Wow, they're really whooping me, huh? I picked up some goodies, so. Wonder wonders what these people are doing here. This is just a guy who kind of went a little crazy. Oh god, that was just poison that? Oh, there, there you go. Books aren't very heavy and can be pretty expensive. And they're a way for me to get gold from the booksellers, which I normally don't have the opportunity to do since all they buy and sell is books. There we go. I've got to use your power attacks. It's always the best. Oh, it does that. Cool. So, um, I'm thinking, I don't know this for a fact, of course. But in this session of playing, I am probably going to beat Morrowind. Howdy. Daughter, daughter mine. Delana Manda, St. Delana Man Ain't. Lock it, her locket. Keep it locked up in her pocket. Who owns that locket? Your daughter's safe. Here's her locket. She's safe. So safe. I must be there for her. I must. Thank you, Galena Pitchman. I will stop now. The attacks on the road. I knew it was wrong, but what could I do? My guards are loyal. Always looking out for me. Tell Athen to visit. Cool. See, if you get here without um, the locket, he won't attack you. He's just nuts. I feel like I've been in here. But on the other hand, there's a lot of these. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Who are you? She's a warrior. Okay, well, cool. Home City. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm still yes, expelled because of those uh, crimes I committed. Restore attributes is only available from certain shrines, which is very annoying to me. Is there something? I don't even think they have one, do they? They don't. All right, let's see if I can't get a uh, divine. You feeling all right? I'm not. I need a healer, in fact. That's what I'm here for. Anytime, huh? I've been playing a lot of the new Minecraft update that just came out. Well, it came out a little bit ago, but... Um, oh lord, I love it so much. It's such a good update to Minecraft. For those who don't know, when Minecraft was in development, just a little baby game, 
developed by some weird neckbeard in his basement. Uh, it was called Cave Game. The Cave Game. And so, What's this about? astoundingly, I'm listening. the game literally called The Cave Game in its early stages has now finally had a cave. Can we up. hurry this along? Here we go. Come on, then. Say something or move on. Why are you so silly? Yeah, I've done a... Um, let me check my guide here. I've done a... I think all of the things from... Uh, Naminda. Yeah, I guarded Serathi Manor. I, I have not technically done all of the things for... Um, the man I'm heading back to. Is there something I can do for you? But part of that is only because um, I'm going back to turn one in, and the other is a thing that I did as a part of the main quest, not this whole side quest chain. It's so good to meet you. It's weird that they're so pleasant because they have such dude. Jesus. Three blessings to you, Baby, because these are veteran guards and I'm a big deal in house veteran, they have very high uh, things, and so I get to hear those voice lines you ordinarily don't get to. Um, from what you say, perhaps Arthan is not totally gained his senses, but his guards have stopped demanding tribute from travelers. Didn't believe it could be done. I'm proud of you this day. Um, duties. See, so yeah, I I have maxed him out. What an unexpected surprise! Tell me more about that strong. Speak with Galsa Ginsu. What's her name? Yeah, strongholds are one of those things in games where it's like you do this because you're running out of things to do normally. And this is just a non-stop, gigantic like. sink of money that will give you some really sweet digs once it's complete. So, who am I talking to? Oh, here we go. Indurus Manor. Sorry, I guess I could pause this one moment. All right, I found it. Pizzazz. Here to discuss your stronghold? You bet I am. If you want to build me a stronghold, I'll need 5,000 drakes and a construction contract from Duke Dren and Ebenhart. Uh, on Vardenfell, the Duke must issue a contract before we lay out the founding stones for building. The rule is overlooked by the Halalu and Telvani, but we're honorable and I will not break these rules. Right. It's so cool. Actually, let's um Ebenhart is right next to Vivek. Yeah, there it is. Um which means that what we should do is find the local chapter of the Mages uh, guild. I think the Mages Guild, I'm definitely going to do the Mages Guild questline, but I think that is definitely something for the post game. Um, I made a promise years ago to read every single book in Morrowind, and holy moly, is that going to be an undertaking? Um, but I want to have something to talk over while I do it, so the Mages Guild will probably be that. So one thing about heavy armor in this game is um, the heaviest set is Daedric, and it is so heavy that it will most likely take up your entire inventory. Just 
because it's so huge. But oh, that's useful, actually. I'm keeping that. I don't need this. That's special. All right. Go oh, ahead, Outlander. What do you need? So, yeah. Um, I love that this place is so big that these little things dotted around the inside are manners. And, like, yeah, considering its size, that does make sense. Three blessings. Yeah, for how huge it is, all of the relevant people have manners in there, and I think that's great. Thank you. So yeah, um, I've thrown my hat in with House Redoran. There is a way to join Halalu and Redoran, um, but you cannot join Telvani because they're kind of scumbags and the other houses really don't like them. However, because of some... Actually, no, I'm not talking to you. I need to go to the... Thank you, but I need the Mages Guild. Um, the thing about uh, Hualu and Redoran is that their quests don't ever fly in the face of one another. And so with a simple bug, you can do both quest lines. Do you need something? Is there something I... Oh, this is an Imperial Cult Altar. That's useful. I have no real love for the Divines. However, what do you want? it would be pretty uh, useful to be able to reliably get my uh, attributes restored. I believe I may be heading to the wrong place. Here we go, it's up here. I think it's this one. Yep. You can tell by these little circles. Get me to Vivek. Thank you very much. Ah, a visitor. What may I do for you? Man, you're lucky you weren't standing a little to the left there. You've been telefragged like in doom. Also, because I'm wearing a Redoran uh, or Indoril helmet, uh, I can just talk to the guards here and they'll attack me because I'm breaking their rules. But the thing is, it is a rule and not a law. And the difference is this. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? With a rule... Citizen. It is something that the personal character will do. Whereas with a law, it is something you'll get a bounty for. That reminds me. I really need to uh, do friend. quests for these guys. Actually, I think I can just hit a divine intervention. Here we go. All right. Duke Dren. I'm going to run out on a limb here and say he is yes. probably going to be I'm listening. a uh, Dun Dunmer. With a name like Dren. I'm lost, aren't I? Still get lost in this game. Does anyone have a game that, like, they still just reliably can get lost in? Yes. I think my wife's is, um... Probably Dragon Age Inquisition. She played, like, I want to say, like, 60 hours of Dragon Age. And, and still gets lost in, in fucking Skyhold. <laughs> Tell me where Duke Dren is. So what do you want? What's this then? Uh, Come on then, say something. Why are the Cinderays in here? Boy, I'm so lost. Outlander, what do you want? It's a really easy game to get lost in, though. Three blessings to you. I missed him like three or four I times uh, when I was trying to do this quest. Yes, Outlander. Do I know you? Can you tell me where Duke Tren is?
supremely unhelpful. I'll be on my way now. But yeah, all I've got left to do is get in tight with House Lalu, and uh, that's kind of... Here we go, Duke Trent. Uh, I know your deeds in Reverine. I will grant you a contract. Take it as a token of gratitude for all you've done for my people. Thank you. Let's see if we can read it. Whoa, it's work 5,000 gold. By the grace of Omsivi, lords and rulers of all, his grace, the Duke of Ardenfell, hereby grants Galena Pitchman the right to build a stronghold and village, no more than 50 persons and 400 feet in any direction. Galena Pitchman may hire no more than 10 men at arms, so you have a maximum, but not a minimum. Must protect the settlers who dwell within, must swear loyalty to the crown of his grace, the Duke, and to Almsivy. If they do not abide by these terms, this contract is null and void, and the rights of the stronghold reverts to his grace, Duke of Ardenfell, seal of his grace, seal the vassal, Galena Pitchman. Masera. Oh uh, yeah. Bardow. I've kind of been dreading doing the uh, Vivek Fighters Guild stuff. Though I'm getting a lot better at navigating Vivek. That is a bridge here. Four quarters right here. I just need to get to the top floor of it. Could also just pay a pittance of gold and get my ass over there. Against my better judgment, I've started to write fan fiction again. I have not written fan fiction in probably about six years. Um. And one thing that is mentioned in the fan fiction I'm writing, because it's about Morrowind, because of course it is, is that um, the people running the gondolas will not stop to pick you up if you've fallen in the river, if you don't have the money to pay them. Because that just amuses me, and it seems very in character for this fucking city. Go. I'm starting to do a lot better now. Yeah, I should get the quests from here, but I won't. What do you want, Outland? Alright. Then I think you just gotta skip me back to uh Aldrin. See, I'm starting to, like, it's starting to get to the point where I, my character physically cannot drop below a certain amount of money. Because I, I literally can't give it away that fast. Like, almost all of my skills are too high for me to um, train. And there's very little in the ways of... Go ahead, Outland. Like me even being able to like pay enough money to train even those skills. Because usually I run out of skills that I can get from the trainer before I run out of my own money. The reason my short blade skill is so high, by the way, is because there's a um yep. Can you hit me anything? Ooh, nice. Please go ahead and wait. And luckily, because I'm such a high ranking member of Lalu, or not of Lalu, of Rhetoran, uh, I'm getting very good deals on this. Only 400 around. Might be capped here. No, oh, cool. What an unexpected surprise. I really like how pleasant people are. This is another thing that I really like about, um... Yeah, right, he's maxed out now. But yeah, see, that's what I mean. I max them out way before I have the chance to, um, run myself out of cash. It was something I... 
that I really don't like about Skyrim. And something that was actually fixed in the DLC of Skyrim. However, the DLC for Skyrim is here. So maybe people, maybe it's not even a game thing or a writing thing. Maybe it's just a cultural thing. And the people of Skyrim are just kind of dickheads. And the people of Morrowind get over it at some point. Here they are, and the Stronghold Contract. Cool. In a week ago, come speak with me again. So, that is actually one week. So we'll be back on day 116. Now let's take a look at them. Uh, should we do main quest? Should we? Hmm. All right, we're back. Um. I hopped a guild guide, a, a mage's guild, teleport to Wolverine Hall, and we're heading south to Telfir, and then to the Abenamaster Mundu camp. I decided that's where we're gonna knock out next. Anyway, so, like, the thing that I was mentioning, um, in Skyrim, like, people will be condescending to you, like, years into your playthrough, after you've already become the dragon-slaying god of war. You've been officially named Ysmir, uh, Dragon of the North, that's what his name is. Like, you've been named Ysmir, Dragon of the North, by the Greybeards, the biggest deals in all of Skyrim. You, uh, might be in charge of this chapter of the Blades. And, like, the Blades don't have the thought they used to, but they're still a big deal, damn it. Come on. You can be, like, secretly but not really secretly in charge of the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves' Guild. You can be publicly in charge of the Mage's College, which is not the Guild. It's not the Mage's Guild, it is a college, and presumably has higher standards or requirements. Whether or not it does, I do not know, but... Um, and, like, you'll just be completely decked out in all, like, Daedra gear, armor and weapons all either looted from the dead bodies of demons and gods or given as gifts from the gods themselves. And then some fucking guard will walk up to be like, oh, you joined the companions. What do you do? You fetch the mead? It's like, fuck you. The only reason that I don't massacre you and everyone in the city is because it would be inconvenient, dickhead. I don't really feel a lot of respect for your character. Um, like, Delphine goes out of her way to say that because you're a dragonborn and the emperors were all dragonborns, the blades serve emperors, yes, but they really do serve dragonborns. So, hey, they'll do whatever you ask. But then if you don't assassinate a character who has been nothing but nice to you, and we know for a fact has been nothing but nice for, like, 6,000 years of actually recorded history. If you don't go and assassinate him, she tells you to fuck off and won't even give you the time of day. Like, what a load of bullshit. What, a, what an annihilation of the choice that the Elder Scrolls is known for. Like, the Blades don't have a good point by saying, Hey, you're the dragon war, you kill dragons. Go kill this dragon. It's literally one of the three nice dragons in the history of the world. And they don't make you kill the other two. They just want you to, you know... They just want you to go kill Parthenax just because. But 
But yeah, people are like stuck up in, in Skyrim. But like in this game, because of the disposition, people will be nicer to you. And like here, random guards that normally would just spit in my fucking eye and tell me to get like get fucked are like literally saying God bless you as I walk by. Like three blessings with Sarah. Like literally nice as you could possibly be. That was a bug. Let's uh, climb it right here a little. Perfect. Where's my repair skills? My eyes are like bleeding together, what's happening? Oh, it's armor, isn't it? Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know if I finished this train of thought from earlier, but Daedric armor is so heavy that wearing a full set of it might actually fill up your armor, com like your, so your weight completely. You. Find me an ash can. Let me finish what I was saying. Um, But in the Morrowind DLC in Skyrim, which is to say the Dragonborn DLC for the Elder Scrolls V. You can rebuild the town of Ravenrock, which, by the way, was something that the Nerebrian builds in the DLC for this game. And you rebuild it. And in that city, in that hold, people are very, very respectful and kind to you. So maybe the stuff that they talk about, like giving Ashlanders a gift, maybe that's just part of the Dunmer like zeitgeist. Anyway. You're the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarian prophecies. What do you want? What could I possibly want? We think they're superstition. Don't bother us with nonsense. Nobody cares about that. You just make us tired. Go away. What a douchebag. Sorry, I've got some food here. I've got um Fig Newtons. I'm just snacking on those. So you can see we're actually losing disposition with them, and they like us less and less every single word we say. Well, let's go say hi to their wise woman, huh? What do you want? Greetings, Outlander. I think I've heard of you before. I am Manarai, wise woman of the V. Arabanimison. You're the Outlander who claims to fulfill the prophecies. Do you see my counsel? I warn you. Be wary of Ashkan, Ulath, Pal, and his supporters. They all hate Outlanders and love nothing more to kill and loot them. They do not respect custom or hospitality and think nothing of killing unarmed men, women, or children. They are bad men, bad leaders, and you should fear them. If they're so bad of leaders, why are they still in charge? On the other hand, this could be that thing of like, this is so far removed from democracy and civilization that like, they're the baddest guys with the biggest weapons. They do what they say does go, you know? Like, oh, you killed me and my entire family. I guess you were right. He's always in his yurt, protected by his bo bodyguard, Gulakan Ahaz. I'm a weak woman, and I'm sure you would know best, but I would kill Ahaz first, weaker of the two. If I had secret message of powers, if I had secret magics or powers, I would use them to preserve me while I defend against two enemies at once. Uh, the faithful bodyguard, he is not as skilled or strong as Ashu Ahi. But whenever you see Ulathpal, you will see him, and if you fight him, you must fight the other. You wish to be named Erebenism Nereverine? Never. Not while Ashkan and his war loving uh war loving dudes live. They hate outlanders, are proud and haughty, and will never suffer an outlander to rule them. You will suffer me now. <laughs> Uh, if you would be in a reverie, you must kill them. And then help me make the peace-loving uh, Erebenism Gulak and Han Amu or Ashkan. Ashkan Ham Anu can then name you Nerebrine uh, Erebenism. You must eliminate them and his supporters. Alright. Three blessings, sir. It's not going to be this easy. There's another, there's more of them, but... 
You do anything about this, or? Kill him. I've slain one of them. Perhaps it would have been impossible. It would have been... Sorry. I have slain one of the war-loving Era Benis... Benimson Ashlanders. But perhaps it would have been impossible to have friendly dealings with them or their leaders anyway. Special named War Axe. Another special named War Axe. And that. Let's get some sleep, huh? Hey, I did a sleep without getting attacked in my slumberings. What's up? Uh, Ahaz, Ranabi, and Ashu Ahi. They're the strongest of the fighting Urabenimson. I think you will defeat them in single combat, but if you stand alone... Okay, where's Ranabi? He's cunning, but he relies too much on the power of his ancestors' enchantments. He's not so strong, but beware, he has a poison blade. And he's a great finder. He wears enchanted armor and boasts that none of the... No one can defeat him, not even Ulith Paul. Well, I've defeated Ulith Paul, so... Um... Three blessings, so good to see. What do you want out of their names? Oh, no. Oh, hi. You'll find no welcome here, I'm afraid. Don't care, I don't want to be Don't's a glucon anyway. I don't want to be a glucon. I'm not good at fighting and no one likes me. I can't make anyone do anything. I just want everyone to leave me alone. Do you have well, we're going to whip you into shape, good sir. But first... <laughs> He's literally crackling with power. I can spare a few moments. You slay one of my people. Get you must pay off. with your life. Was <laughs> that about relying on his family's enchantments? The Mountain Spirit. That's cool. And a cheap restore health. I'm only a little over encumbered, so let's get some... Let's get some Sue Jump. Oh, Ronaby. Do you have something to say? You've slain my people, pay with your life. You're gonna get something special happening to you. Started to try to save this for my special target, so. Pop, pop. Racer beak. The robe. The bitter hand and the ember hand. And the bone weave gauntlets. Alright. Get out of my face now. I mean, they're all dead, so. Now, with these all dead, we may consider the prophecies and how they might be named in the reverie. Uh, it's a simple matter to be named Reverie. You need to persuade Guluka and Hanamu to become the Ashcan. Seek him out in his Gulak Yurt. Be warned, he's not the material one would choose when looking to make an Ashcan and may be difficult to persuade. Three blessings, Sarah. Hanamu, you're up. Don't want to be Ashcan. Yeah, I recognize it. Ronaby wore that robe, the robe of the wise, handed through Ronaby to his family. What does that do you do with, um... My wanted to be Ashcan. Here. Thank you. Your lesson's clear. It is the robe that gives wisdom in, in counsel, and the idea of the robe that gives confidence to the tribe, but it is the Ashcan who wears the robe and who accepts responsibility for the safety of the tribe, who holds the fate of the tribe in his hands. This is a sobering lesson, and I must give it thought. So I don't want that robe anyway, so he has it. Uh, I recognize it. Ahaz wore that amulet. Sanit kills Heart of Fire. He had it from his father, and his father had it from Kinta Nila, and Nila had it from Sanit Kil, a great witch warrior. What does that to do? Lesson's clear. It is the amulet that gives courage in battle, and the idea of the amulet that gives confidence to the tribe, but it is the Ashkin who wears it and accepts responsibility. Yada yada yada. Uh, that's the war axe of my father, the war axe of Iron Amu. Ulith Paul had it from my father and carried it from Ashkan. Well, here you go, good sir. Uh, axe gives strength in war. ID the axe that gives confidence. Ashkan who bears the axe. Yada, yada, yada. I must accept that responsibility. Thank you for your lesson. I shall be Ashkan 
of the Arabinism, and I shall name you Noravarine. Thank you, Galena Pitchblend. I promise you as Ashkan, I will do my best to amend the dark reputation of my tribe. My first action as chief, I name you Noravarine, champion of the Arabinism, and protector of the people. You must also go to the wise woman, Menorai, and get from her the seizing of the Arabinism, an enchanted heirloom of the tribe, which shall be assigned to all Dunmer that I have named you Noravarine. Thank you. See, so yeah, this dickhead fucking killed that guy's dad and Wait, just kind of took over. I think I've heard of you before. So you're called Nervarine, and uh, you're uh, and Hanamu's the Ashcan. Any changes? Good things. Good things. Any changes? Uh, accepted his responsibilities as Ashcan and his name be Nervarine. I must give you the seizing of the Arabinimsum. A tribal heirloom that ought to be held by our chosen champions as a token we've named you Reverie. Take this enchanted token, so all we may know that we have named you Reverie. Let's take a look at it, huh? I don't know what that is. Is that a belt? Oh, is that how telekinesis works? It lets me remotely loot things? That's kind of cool, then. It'll help me steal stuff. Alright. I have been named Reverend of all four tribes of the Hardenfell Ashlanders. Of the seven visions of the seven trials of the Incarnate, I have fulfilled the fifth trial. Let's, um, let's head north and see what, uh, the Urshulaku have to say about this. Hey, all right, I warped around a little bit, got myself to Nisus, and we're on our way to the Urshulaku. I realized that I probably could have waited until after I had done House Slalu, but I also want to have a good ending for this episode. But yeah, we have only one thing left to do, like, at all. We have been named Nereverine of all four tribes. And we have been named Hortator of um, two of the three houses. I like his Pompadour. Probably been in there before. <laughs> I love when I'm floating and a cliff racer comes up at me. Like, fool. The only reason that you're an apex predator, if that, is because you're in the air and safe. Now that I'm you're on your level, you have no chance. Make your time. That's one thing that continually proves to be a problem when I'm filming any of the ASMRs for this. Because, like, this is a very calming game, but, like, if the Cliff, Ra Cliff Racer's noise wasn't annoying... Like, let let's say that, like, even if the Cliff Racer noise didn't trigger PTSD in thousands of people, it also is just plain annoying on its own. Really stands in the way of calming gaming content, which is something I typically strive for. I do attempt to be funny, but primarily I want to be, like, I want to be something that you can chill out and watch. It's my job most of the time, I believe. Where am I? Where's my level at? Oh, not good. Not bad, actually. Sorry, I tried to say good and not bad. So if we want, we can actually go and look at, this is where the, um, thing is going to be the stronghold we're working on so we can go look at it and see its progress um so there is a cheat code 
I wanted to mention, there's a cheat code that, um... Really, guys? The way that it works is... Right, you guys are gonna get it. You've earned my wrath. I need to get, get a good spear so I can start to train that. Anyway, if you remember from a very, very long time ago, the scrolls of uh, Ikarian flight, in that they don't give you flight, they just make you jump really high and then wear off before you hit the ground. So all of the good jumping ability that you have is gone before you have a chance to hit the ground, which means that not only is your good jump gone, but your ability to land is gone too. So, you know, they're very dangerous to use, but they're very powerful. There is a code in the console that makes it so you can just turn that on. Now, I have been attempting to avoid using console commands for anything besides anything necessary, like, oh, this character isn't where they're supposed to be. I have to teleport them back. Or, um, it's early game and I don't have a lot of access to stuff, so I have to just cheat this character dead and then cheat them back to life later because I don't want to put up with it. You're dead all- that's a- that's very strong words from somebody who is- doesn't even have sleeves. I suppose I should credit you for surviving three hits of my big axe. Big- what is this thing? A mace. You're growing weaker. The nerve of these people, I swear. So I've never played Oblivion, despite the fact that, as has been observed, I am a massive, massive fan of Morrowind and Skyrim. Have never played the one in between them. Bunch of Argonian slaves. Well, let's look around a little more. Do another good deed. idea where this key is. Well, door's open. Might be able to figure it out from there. Right, I drank all that booze. Let's see, I've got that jump potion. Let's give that a shot, huh? 
I should start using my potions again just to get them out of my inventory. Because, like, I've been using my travel stain pants enchantment to, like, to float around and stuff, but, like... Maybe I should be using the potions of float because, you know, I'm probably going to have those pants forever now. And the potions are just going to stay in my inventory. A little right. Let's do that, actually. Let's use a uh, Rising Force. Especially since we got to get over this hill. Man, Ebony Armor looks so good. One thing that I don't really, I really don't like about uh, Oblivion is that, like, in this, the faces look, like, kind of waxy or wooden, but it's fine. You know, because I can still tell what I'm supposed to be looking at. But in Oblivion, everyone's face is so round and soft looking that, like, it doesn't look like they're supposed to. Like, yes, you could argue that Nords have a very round face, but, like, Argonians are literally lizards. Dark Elves have huge cheekbones. All Elves do. Like, they're not supposed to have these big, round, like, ooh, faces, you know? And it is a it is a serious serious turnoff for playing Oblivion. I don't know that this is fact as well, but I seem to remember it as such. Um, I seem to remember everyone having um, open face helmets. So I can now reliably match my with a Daedra, any Daedra. Nobody's really been able to give me pause. That's a turn. That's the pause is in stop or slow down. You know, the opposite of the play button. Is your short sword not bad? Have uh, some sip, huh? Oh yeah. Also, I have so much freaking health that like, there's no real reason for me to like take the water breathing potions because I can just tank the hit. I really hate that you just sound like a man, like a human. All right, we're almost there. Well, look, Lena, you honor us. You're goddamn right. Oh God, Ash, get inside quick. Yeah. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Face trials and pass them, but the trials still lie before you. You will. Dude. Dude. This is so not cool. Okay. I hit him by mistake.
God, all of these swings that hit, or all these swings that miss, and one of the few that actually hit someone hits a guy I don't need to be hitting. Well, everyone else out here still seems to like me. Alright, you've been named Reverine. You fulfilled the fifth trial. Alright, tell me about the fourth. So yeah, we just need to be named Hortator by the last house. Let's see where else he will take us. He's bad, actually. Good place to be. I need to get back to Balmora, and I want to drop off all of my loot. I don't actually need any of this, you see, but I enjoy it as a trophy. Knowing that I totally whooped those guys, who are apparently, like, super strong, that I just came there and murdered them all, like, no problem. It's pretty good. Here, I mean, Balmora. All right. So there's only one trial left of being the Nereverine until I go embark on the last few things. It's exciting. It's good to beat a long RPG. Um, shorter than I would have thought. I kind of thought that I would be here for like 50 episodes. Um, like with Kingdom of Loathing, but like, it's not long. It helps that I'm not trying to 100% things like I did with um, New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas. Uh, Alright. This guy's big chest piece, now in the spirit. Cool, but I don't need it. These gauntlets down. Yeah, it's fine. And then the big table of weapons. Wind of dickhead. Racist beak. And that's all. Expelled all caps. <laughs> uh, all right. Wow. Yeah. So that's uh that's Morwin for this part, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Um We're uh we're running out of stuff to do here in the main quest. Ah god. Whatever. Um but yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Thank you. Have a good day.